Hey guys, as you can see, I have the Ultimaker 2 Plus sitting right here next to me, and it's time for some maintenance. I've been having some issues with some extruder jams with the filament, and I suspect part of that is the filament has probably got some water in it, and it's just really old PLA. But I also know that the coupler inside the print head is well beyond the recommended replacement time. I have over a thousand hours of print time on this thing uh, since I received it, and usually they recommend you know changing that out after you know you know several hundred hours. So I know that's got to go. The other thing is the Bowden tube. The Bowden tube I can see looking at it. There's all kinds of debris in there. Uh, especially on the other part here that's been related to the uh, extruder jamming. So what we're going to do is we're going to install a brand new one and uh, hopefully with all these uh, quick fixes here we'll get the extruder back together and we should be back to printing the way we used to. So in this video that's what we're going to do. Are you ready? Here we go. Hey guys, welcome back. Welcome to where nerdy is cool. This is my channel where I cover all my fun nerdy projects. 3D printing, bat suits, Stormtrooper, R2D2, BB-8, you name it. I've got a whole list of interests and slowly chipping away at them. Uh, so in this video, as I mentioned in the opener here, we're going to be doing some work to this guy. I got the GoPro set up over here. So hopefully between all these cameras, we'll get some decent footage here for you. If well, if you're not aware, my name is Paul. <laughs> uh, thank you for watching. If you are not already a subscriber, please hit that button and become one. I don't want you to miss any of my videos. And if you hit the bell, you'll get a notification in your email when a new video has shown up. So consider that as an option. If this is, well, if this is not your first time seeing me and you've seen my other videos, I welcome you guys. Uh, thanks for coming back. The channel is doing really, really well. I, I, I've been impressed. We, we, we blew past 1,000 subscribers, and I think we're at like 1,300 now or something, and that's just fantastic. Uh, I, I owe you guys an apology. I haven't had a lot of time to do videos lately. I am enrolled in school right now. I have uh, decided to uh, go for my BS in aviation science. I, I've been a licensed private pilot for a very long time, and I'm seeing that there's a great demand for pilots going on right now, and I guess my mind is kind of thinking maybe this is a good time to consider a career change. I don't know, but you know, for right now, I'm, I am taking two classes right now. Uh, I'm taking a microeconomics class and a meteorology class, and uh, wow, <laughs> I haven't been in school for a couple of years, and the, the reading and the homework is pretty deep. So anyway, that said, I just wanted to give you a heads up as to why there might be some delay in videos, because I have a ton of homework going on right now. Uh, so in this video, I'm, you're not going to see my face a whole lot because I'm going to put both these cameras straight into the printer here so you can follow along. But as I mentioned, I was having a terrible time with the filament jams. And uh, I can see on the back here of the Bowden tube, it's just plugged up full of chewed up filament. So I knew that was a problem. And I also knew that inside the print head, there is a, uh, the coupler there and that is prone to, it has an old type in there right now. And uh, those can get charred and develop kind of a lip in there. So that can cause some pressure, which makes it difficult for the filament to go in and it could cause some under extrusion. So between some lousy filament, possibly a bad coupler, it's time for some maintenance. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna replace the Bowden tube, we're gonna replace that coupler. Uh, fortunately, the uh, only tool I need is this one provided by Ultimaker. And then we will go at it here in just a moment. Uh, that said, let's do it and I'm going to change the cameras around so you can follow along that way. Okay, uh, so here we go. First step is we're going to have to get the Bowden tube off of here since we're replacing that. Let's go ahead and uh, get this retaining clip and let's have a nice uh, little tray to place everything down here in the bottom. And we will hold down that section there and pop him out. And while we're thinking of that, why don't we just completely pull this guy out while we're thinking of it. Okay, we will continue with that later. All right, so step number two. It's going to be unscrewing all of these. And down here. We'll drop those down there. Mm, 
Okay. Now things start to fall apart. <laughs> okay, so... That's all right. That can all stay there. So what we need to do, we need to get the, uh, the fan shroud detached. side. I'm trying to be mindful of these wires and not apply any more pressure than I have to here. Okay. All right. So what remains, make sure my focus is good here, is those two screws. All right, at least we know where it went. to make sure my fat fingers are out of the way and there goes the coupler and the top all right let's fish out okay so there's that top piece all right make sure the focus on the camera is behaving all right and uh Wow, to say that that thing is, uh, is scorched would be a pretty big understatement. Now the hard part's gonna be getting this guy out. And I don't know if it's recommended to use pliers or not, but let's see if I can wiggle it out first. Sorry, camera. Okay, well, <laughs> it is out, and uh, I don't know how good the focus is gonna be on this thing, but uh, to say that that guy's a little bit burnt out, we definitely have the uh, burned edge going on. I don't know if the GoPro will pick it up any better or worse, but uh, it was definitely due for a replacement. And uh, let's see if I can make the camera. Here we go. So as you can see, it's uh, pretty substantially cooked. All right, so the fun part. <laughs> let's get it all back together. All right, so what we're gonna do is we have our new one now. Okay, and I'm just kind of pressing and twisting on this thing, hoping that that helps get her in there. Okay, well. What I'm doing is I'm uh, putting a little bit of pressure on that just to make sure that goes in as far as it's supposed to go. Then, you can 
can tell that this has uh, it's machined out a little bit, so it shows you how that should go. And I can tell you, mm, this has a ways to go, because we're trying to get this guy all level here. So that feels, that's the magic word here, it feels, as we look here, about as much as I can push it in. All right, let's uh, get one of these screws going in here. Okay, well, that feels good. And we're kind of going in the reverse order. Kind of, let's tighten that up here. And yeah, it looks, everything looks straight. So I think we're going to be good. <laughs> All right, and then we're going to get you back in here. Okay. Big concern was making sure that the uh, bearing was trapped in there just right. All right, so there is that. Uh, I am going to very quickly, from the other side here. There we go, let's, uh, let's remove the Bowden tube. Uh, just so you can see the old uh, Bowden tube, here's the, uh, come on focus, be my friend. Um, as you can see, all kinds of junk in there. So definitely, uh, definitely end of life for that one. And uh, let's go ahead and uh, I think what I'll do is I'll work on just getting this guy installed over here. Make sure you're in as far as you can go. Lift up the collet. There. Now, what we need to do, and these clips are here to make this a little easier. There we go. Okay, that is together, and then turn this guy to get us some tension here. Put it right about that point. Okay, and yep, that moves that. Good. Okay, we got this. Let's clean that a little bit. And uh, I recommend a little bit of lubricant on that. Okay, 
Okay, so we've done some prints and uh, it's a day later uh, because I was up late doing the first part of the video. And uh, you can see that the test cube has an interesting little uh, pattern to it. I would have to ask my friends in the Ulti Maker what that's all about. But the big thing, um, we didn't have any difficulties printing the uh, Cheshire Cat. Ah, that's really, really good. Uh, let's see, the camera can really kind of catch how nice and shiny that is. And uh, I was experiencing with Simplify 3D a really tough time with the Z-Seam, but it looks like Cura did a really remarkable job getting that all done. And as you can see, the result is really quite good. And the uh, th this filament can be a little uh, tricky to print with, but I just gotta say that did a really great job. So knowing that the new coupler is in there, a new Bowden tube, the uh, extruder has been all cleaned up, I would say that this is definitely a success. We're definitely gonna start to get some really good prints again. All right, um, well, first of all, I'll change it closed because I let it do, uh, I did a test print, as you saw earlier, and I did a uh, the Cheshire Cat, which was that nine hour print. I let that run overnight, and that was a great test to make sure that everything's working properly in the printer, and it is. Uh, these weren't terribly expensive things to replace. The Bowden tube, I think, was 10 bucks. I think the TFM coupler was 16, so for under 50 bucks, not that big a deal. The, uh, with the Ultimakers, they recommend after a couple hundred hours, I think 500 is a threshold, I'd have to check. Uh, depends on the Ultimaker as well too, but uh, uh, it's good to get in there and inspect it and check it out. Mine was definitely boogery, nasty, and all those things that screen replace. Uh, I definitely think that was giving me some of the back pressure issues I was having with under extrusion. So once we got everything buttoned back up, we did with the extruder plugged in with the new Bowden tube and the uh, new coupler, it, it's the printer is working really, really well again. So I feel comfortable now trying to do some more, <laughs> more detailed and longer prints, knowing that I'm not going to chew up filament and have issues. So that's good. Uh, if you like what you're seeing here, if you like my channel, you like my videos, again, just a reminder, become a subscriber. I want to make sure that you're catching all my videos. And also, please leave comments in the comment section below. I read all of your comments. I try to respond to everybody. And uh, I appreciate your feedback. This is a lot of fun for me, and uh, I've been enjoying doing this. And while I'm on that topic, if you want to support me financially, there's two ways you can do so. There's patreon.com. Uh, I have my own little uh, you know site over there, patreon.com forward slash where nerdy is cool. I have two levels of uh, subscription. Uh, you can do the $2 a month or you can do $5 a month. And like I said, that's just a, I don't have a whole lot of people using that, but if you do wish to financially support me, that's one way to do so. The other way is on my YouTube homepage, there is a link where you can donate via PayPal. And what you can do is you hit that button and PayPal will say, how much you want to give them? Now, like I said, if you want to throw me a couple of bucks for, ga for, for gas money or for coffee or Frosty Foamy, that's completely up to you. And I appreciate that. So that's my video this time around. I just want to remind you that up over here, uh, I have my social media presences. Uh, I'm on facebook.com forward slash where nerdy is cool. Instagram is where nerdy is cool. And of course, my website is where nerdy is cool .com. I mention these because I like to throw little pictures out here or just give you guys little tidbits about things I'm working on so you can see that I'm indeed working on stuff. So that's it for this time. Again, thanks for watching. I have a lot of fun doing this. The feedback has been great. The statistics have been very interesting. Did you know that according to the statistics, 100% of my viewers are male? That can't be right. Come on, ladies, subscribe. Tell YouTube they're wrong. So anyway, until next time, remember, this is where nerdy is cool.